Today is September 2nd, and today's quote is called, A False Equation. For many, not keeping a promise or agreement is like the following equation. Keeping an agreement or promise equals not keeping an agreement or promise plus a good story. Have you, have you ever let somebody down and then you came up with a good story to kind of, uh, you know, excuse yourself of the problem? Well, you know, the idea is if I have a good story, then I really didn't do anything wrong. Okay, that may be true. You may have a good story caught in traffic or whatever. But it's not that everyone sees it like that. And it's, if, you know, sometimes if you just say, I'm sorry and make an excuse, people feel like, people feel disrespected or dishonored. They feel like you don't care. So the point of today's quote is, if you make a promise and you don't keep it, don't think because you have a good excuse, it's the same as keeping a promise because it isn't. And whenever you don't keep a promise, you should always empathize with the person who you promised. Empathize with how they might feel and say, I know I let you down, I know you must feel this way, and I take full responsibility for it. I should have kept the promise and so on and so forth. So it's, it's important that we put ourselves in another person's shoes because oftentimes we're more concerned about our image, we're more concerned about keeping face than we are about how we made another person feel. So we should always remember this when we don't keep our commitments, we don't keep our promises. We should be sensitive to how we make other people feel. And in life in general, we should also be sensitive to how we make other people feel. Like sometimes in our workshops, we ask the question, if you were working with a group of people and they were all exactly like you, what, what wouldn't you like about those people? So it's a reflection to be able to get some objectivity about what we're like. And, and often it's very powerful to, to kind of sense how we make people feel by our actions, by our thoughts, by our attitudes, by our behavior in general. And so to be aware that when you tell somebody you're going to do something and you don't, it's upsetting or they may lose trust or lose faith in some way it erodes the relationship. And this happens a lot in the digital world where, where we communicate and then we don't get back to someone for a week, for two weeks or three weeks or at all. And then we write back, oh, I was busy, I'm sorry. and. It was time-sensitive communication. There was no communication, at least, to say that I was busy, I'll get back to you in a few days, or like something like, like this. So we, we have to be, we should be aware of how our behavior, how our actions are affecting others. And sometimes we want to instruct others, but others are always ready for the instruction. So sometimes others don't always appreciate the instruction we want to give them. So we need to be sensitive to this. Because a lot of times we think, well, I'm an authority, I'm older than this devotee. So I'm just going to tell them something that they need to hear. But um, they may not have asked you to tell them, or they may not, it may not make them feel good. So, you know, before we just do something, say something, we should think, how is this going to affect somebody else? It's very, very important working together with other devotees, working in communities, to be sensitive like this. Yeah.